But um, again, thank you for coming. And this is the, 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 the first opportunity to maybe um, discuss in this forum about the challenges of the digital era. And this, um, this gathering is organized by the Ministry of Education, Science, and Technological Development and Higher Education Reforms ex Expert Team. And um, for the beginning, I would uh, invite uh, Assistant Minister to address us. Thank you very much for this nice uh, introduction. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear representatives of, of the university, Professor Popovic, uh, representatives of the University of Novi Sad, dear colleagues, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all on behalf of the government of the Republic of Serbia and also on behalf of the Ministry of Education, Science and uh, Technological Development. I enjoyed preparing for this conference and uh, going to the agenda uh, since we all know that the topic which you are going to discuss today is one of the most relevant global tendencies, but also uh, we identified it at national level as one of the most important uh, priorities. And we do have a very strong support for digitalization in Serbia, also from the cabinet of the prime minister and of course uh, from the Ministry of Education, Science and Technological uh, Development. I would like just to have, uh, to give you uh, two examples of uh, how important this process is and uh, to try to understand why this type of global change uh, is important for us all. Uh, if you look at the list of the Fortune uh, 500, so the wealthiest companies in the world, you will soon notice that actually the average thing uh, time on this list has been reduced for, from 75 years down to 15 years uh, and this goes, goes even, even uh, down further. And the other example I would like to stress out is actually the number of startup companies uh, being founded daily. It goes in, in tens of, 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 of thousands of, uh, per day. So it's obvious that the way that we educate and teach uh, it's, 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 it's being changed as we speak. And in this regard, we do have to rethink what actually digitalization brings to us in terms of education. It means actually that we can connect to an excellent individual as a teacher, as many students as we like. And it also introduces that the world is practically effectively shrinking and that the connectivity is higher than, than ever. So it's, it's a difficult task not only for Serbia, but a global task to redefine the paradigm of education and uh, to put into the best use all of the advanced digital technologies that, uh, that we have now. And we understand, understand it as a country, we do understand it as a government, and we are uh, doing many concrete actions actually to achieve this. Uh, anyway, I would like to welcome you all to Belgrade, and I'm sure that you're going to have a very successful conference. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Lazaric. And now um, we will hear from Nenad Zivinic, representative of the well, vice rector of the University of Belgrade and also a member of the Higher Education Reform Experts team. Uh, thank you, Ivana. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, uh, to this uh, workshop organized by the Erasmus National Erasmus Office in Serbia and, uh, of course, uh, related to the activities of our uh, <coughs> here, here team, or here uh, we yes. pronounce, but uh, it doesn't look very logical. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, what is uh, our uh, here team? Uh, this is the higher education uh, reform experts team. Uh, I'm in the team since uh, 2015, and uh, I think at the moment the end of our mandate will be uh, by the end of this year, so next year Serbia will officially become the, the partner, uh, uh, the, the, the program country in the Erasmus uh, program. At the moment we are still the, the partner country, so our uh, status is going to change, so we will be the 33rd, uh, I think, or the 34th uh, program, I think the 33rd program country. 
uh, about uh, the activities of our uh, uh, Heri team, just to say that this that, that is uh, uh, the continuation of our work in the previous years and previous months. This year we have organized also some other events related to the public-private uh, partnership, cooperation uh, between the universities and the industry, social dimension in higher education, and many others. So we are very active. We have published several publications that you can find just in front of the door. I mean, the publications are in Serbian, but uh, in those publications we have presented some of our researches and discussions on the, the charity. Uh, I hope that uh, the, the, um, uh, the, this uh, workshop is very interesting for the majority of the participants uh, because uh, digitalization in higher education is uh, is uh, a topic of the, the, the of one of the topic of the highest level and of the highest interest uh, in the higher education. So I wish you a pleasant and fruitful workshop and uh, please enjoy the presentations that we will have very soon. Thank you, Ivana. Thank you so much. And um, now, Sofia Dukic, as representative of the Erasmus Plus office in Serbia. Thank you, Ivana. It's really an honor and pleasure to, to greet you on behalf of the Erasmus Plus office in Serbia, uh, on behalf of, uh, of a director, Maria Filipovic Jevic, who couldn't join us today. Um, this is a very special occasion for us when we, apart from projects that we usually promote or monitor, as you all know, uh, can organize an event at which we can address, help actually organization of an event uh, in which uh, some relevant issues for higher education are tackled. Uh, so it's not only through projects, but uh, through support to higher education reform expert team. And everything happens, of course, under the umbrella of big uh, EU cooperation program Erasmus+. Plus. Uh, as Professor Zernic mentioned, uh, we are about to become a program country, which means that uh, big news are expected to be announced this October, uh, hopefully when a new guide for, for applicants is going to be published, so very soon, probably uh, towards the mid-October, uh, we would be able to share uh, news. And uh, indeed, uh, there would be many challenges uh, in front of higher education in Serbia. And somehow this event is uh, symbolically called also challenges, so challenges of digital era, but uh, higher education Form expert team somehow uh, throughout 2018 uh, uh, took this uh, took this uh, metaphor of challenges in in all of their events. So there were events addressing challenges of internationalization, challenges of cooperation with industry and society in general, uh, social dimension. So all of these are nicely called challenges, but we all know <laughs> what's behind of these words usually. So, uh, but I'm, uh, I'm persuaded that higher education in Serbia is uh, ready to follow the, the trend uh, that European universities are taking to tackle this issue. And the very idea that we are here today, so numerous, means that you are uh, actually capable and ready to discuss relevant issues and uh, to uh, take uh, your responsibility for them. So once again, uh, we hope that uh, the event would be useful for you, that you will use the opportunity to pose questions to our uh, two uh, excellent, extraordinary uh, guests that we are pleased to, to greet uh, today in Belgrade, and that uh, you will go back home with uh, some new ideas for projects for the forthcoming call, and maybe uh, some things that you can do on your own at your institutions, because not anything, everything has to be solved through projects. Uh, many things you can actually do if uh, you have uh, some goodwill and uh, understanding from your colleagues, your uh, corporates at the, at the institutions, and your students, not to forget them, of course, because we are all doing this for the sake of students. So once again, uh, thank you for coming, and uh, yeah, we can start now with, uh, with um, introductory lectures, which I hope would be a good uh, ground for discussion. Yeah, even yeah. I will announce.